Hi YouTube, welcome back. Today we're playing some World of Warcraft, but not doing the usual things. Uh, we've got a limited time event on currently that I'm slacking with slightly. I think it disappears in a week from now. Uh, it's the Kalimdor Cup, the dragon riding thing on the old world of Azeroth. So we're going to be looking at that today. Uh, like and subscribe if you want more daily video gaming content. I'm not wearing my hat today, but I'll put the description down below. If you want to buy a trash hat too, I appreciate you all very much. I'll see you in game. Ciao for now. So we are in game. I'm in Kalimdor. I'm making good progress. We're starting off strong. I'm going to go to Oldham first. And like work my way up, I think. I don't know where the vendor is for the Kalimdor Cup. I don't know what you can buy aside from the the blue-ish skin for the Wind Drake. And the the transmog set. I don't know if that's it. That's all I know of. So uh We're just gonna do some dragon dragon riding races and see how it goes. This feels so slow, by the way. Oh, frick, it's Burning Crusade time walking, isn't it? No. I'll be honest, I can't be bothered doing it. Maybe when, whenever Turbulent Time Ways comes around, I'll do it then, but I really can't be bothered with the, with, with the time walking quests currently. I don't have time, man. I've got too many games to play, unfortunately. This is probably going to be a few parts if I can do this this week. Uh, I might just do this one part and then finish it off stream. I genuinely don't know because these races are going to take quite a while. And uh, I've got other games to play, unfortunately. I really want to get around to playing uh, Bomb Rush. <laughs> Bite my tongue while I say that. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Because that game looks sick. I'm not going to get it on Switch. I was tempted to, but apparently, like, you can put it in 60 frame mode. But it runs at, like, 40 to 50 a lot of the... Well, some of the time. So I think I am just going to get it on PC. Unfortunately, because I would have kind of liked to play it portably. But, uh, yeah. It is what it is, right? I... What mount do I want? I'm going to go with the Velocidrake, I think. The waters flow I'd like to try the course. <laughs> so I've never done these before. I've not seen anybody do them. I don't know where they're going to be sort of taking me. But we'll start off with the basic course most of the time. Then we'll go to advance, then reverse. Get a bit of speed up with the flap there. I still... In my... Brain, I still feel like flap up is still the quickest boost option. If you're... If you can, like, get an up. If you can, like, point up... If you can point up and then shoot straight back down with a flap up boost, I feel like that's still quicker than uh, just doing the regular surge forward. Seems to last a lot longer. This one actually isn't that bad. That was very easy. 71 seconds, gold time is 84. You know, I think we got this. <clears throat> Let's try the advanced course. So we got three badges for that. Do we get three for every version of the of the races? So the only difference between advanced and basic is basic where these little green dots are on advanced basic is where all the wind things were that sort of surge you forward. So on advanced you've like got to plan your surges, 
at your own speed, which I prefer in a lot of ways. And then reverse, shockingly, you just do this but backwards. I like pooling up a lot of these guys. So if anything goes wrong, then you can sort of recover pretty well. I don't think we'll be needing them. Seventy-six seconds for advance. We got seventy. We did that even quicker. We got seventy-one last time, I believe. The Isles have a... Now we're going the other way around, which is a bit more difficult some of the time, because you start off very slow with the uh, reverse courses. I find. And things like that can happen where you just smash into a brick wall. You know what? We are going to restart that one. Yeah, you don't get the quickest start off the board. But once you get an upward surge, you're kind of... Good to go at that point. On reverse courses, I find that there's usually more... Oh, on advance and reverse, they usually have some, like, course hazards as well. I don't know if this one's meant to be one of the easier ones to start off with. It doesn't look like there are many hazards at all here. Sort of a very well designed course, to be fair. Seventy six seconds again for the reverse, and we got seventy. That was our best time yet, apparently. I never so that's that race completely done. Can I not mount up here? I can, it won't let me dragon ride, of course. So I guess we'll work up in sort of a S shape, kind of, to begin with. I don't know what this one is. Is it Ongaro? Okay. That could be kind of fun. I'm, uh, I'm doing all of these courses completely fresh. Like I say, I've not seen any videos on them. What is... oh... There's a, f there's a fly on my screen, a tiny little fly, and I thought it was something in the uh, in the sky there. <laughs> so it's over here. The Slytherin Scar. I can't imagine there's going to be many like indoor caves that we're going to be flying through. But there will be a lot of trees that we can probably hit. The waters flow again. Try the basic course. I think the Wind Drake is probably my least favorite of the dragon riding mounts. However, it is one of the smaller ones, so I'd, I'm not going to bump into terrain. As he, like, literally bumps into terrain. <laughs> so this... Is this just going around the actual whole crater itself? I 
I hope there's like a bit more variation to this one. Just going around the perimeter isn't thrilling. This is picking up a little bit. I like this bit a bit more. A fly is buzzing around my face. I could do without that right now. Not tight any things. It is just around the whole crater, isn't it? Just around the rim. Kind of. Eighty-four se eighty-six seconds, sorry. Aspects gray shine down. Not my favorite track. That's kind of uh, a bit dull. The midsection is the peak, I think. It starts off kind of alright, but after it gets past this bit here, this is where it sort of flattens out for me. At this point, this is just going round in a circle. Which... Don't get specifics with me. Like, I know all races go round in circles in some form. <laughs> but you know what I mean. This is actually just a plain circle. This bit is the most fun part. Got a little bit of weaving here and there. I'm all for this. The only thing I've heard about this is that the Anchorage one is apparently uh, not great. The Anchorage race is apparently people's least favorite from what I can tell. <clears throat> so I think we'll be going to that one next, probably. Well, the Anchorage one is one of people's least favorites. But I know quite a lot of people struggle with dragon riding anyway. A lot of people can't get their head around it, which is fine. It is... It is a little bit complicated. That's how I felt to begin with. I didn't like dragon riding to begin with. When I first picked it up, I felt like it was very, very limited in what you could do with it. But after getting, like, all the max talents and everything... And just practicing, doing the races, like the world quests and stuff. I've really grown to love this as a system. I still think this is one of the best things that World of Warcraft has added. Genuinely. In, gosh, like the past ten years maybe. I think we need to do more with mounts though. Realistically talking, like, ground mounts don't have a lot of use anymore. And they haven't for so many years now. Once flying's unlocked, you're pretty much forced to... Oh, oh, I hit rock. That's fine. We can still deal with this. Once flying mounts are... Oh, we did that so easy. Once flying mounts are uh, accessible in current expansion, then ground mounts are pretty much over. Aside from a few very specific zones. I think we need to do more of like the Guild Wars 2 stuff, like certain mounts have different abilities. Like you've got the, the roly dung beetle snail things that can go like super quick on ground. Or you can have like raptors that like leap, that kind of thing. I think different categories of mounts having different abilities that are all useful. Brilliant. Dragon riding, good system. 
But yeah, ground mounts definitely need a little bit more love. And I think certain abilities are probably the way to do that without completely breaking them. You could take the Final Fantasy route and let every mount fly, I suppose, but I think that would be a little bit less fun. And a little bit pointless now Dragon Riding is sort of added in the game as well. That sort of makes flying, just regular flying mounts, a little bit less useful. Unless you prefer them, of course. I think next expansion will probably get because the when you die in the Dragon Isles, you get like a, a basic mount like this to fly around on, and it goes at four hundred percent speed rather than three ten. So I think we'll probably get like upgraded flight speed for that to four hundred. I'd imagine. You can really start to tell now. This feels so slow. They've really opened the floodgates. I really like the new skybox stuff that they've done with the fog. That looks so much better now as well. Does this have to be in current time, Silithus? Am I not in current Silithus? Doesn't look like it. Oh no, maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, this bug won't leave me alone. I never gave up hope. So this is the Anchorage track. Which, like I say, the only thing I've heard about this Kalimdor Cup is that this track people try... Uh, try? People tend not to enjoy, from what I'm reading. And I didn't realize it was going to take us around the whole Anchorage raid. This is fun. Oh, this is good. I like this race a lot so far. It's going to be a bit awkward with using your speed boosts. Flying around like the whole raid instance. I love this. Going down to all the little boss spawns. Oh, is this really that bad? I don't think that was that bad. We'll try the advance. The reverse one might be a little bit funky. Do 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 do. I feel like a little bit more control over your own speed boosts in this one might be slightly better. Oh no! Okay. I got too cocky. Maybe that's why people don't like this one. Crashing into the big uh, sort of like scarab legs. I can see that being a problem for people for sure. I think other than that scarab leg, this one doesn't seem too bad at all. Maybe those little egg things there, they could be an issue. Advanced is very doable. The Isles have awakened. Oh, 
Now this one is going to be the kicker, I think. Starting off fairly quick for a reverse there. You know, call me crazy, I'm liking the reverse a little bit more so far. Speed powers are a little bit scarce on this uh, on this race. I will say that. Oh, that is a quick turn. Oh, oh, oh. My hand like choked there for a second. Not like I got cramp, but it just sort of decided to do what it wanted. Still very good. Still very doable. Yeah, I don't know where the, the vendor is. I think Feralus was one people complained about as well. I think I've heard people mention Feralus, but I didn't go into detail on why. So 20 minutes to do three of the flags and there are 16 flags interesting maybe we can do eight today that might take us to about 50 minutes Feralis. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. It's nice that they veered away from using the sword. So you don't have to be like in a specific time to do the race. I imagine like Ungaro. There are a lot of trees here that you could bump into, but Ungaro sort of took you around the whole area where there are no trees. Hardly. I think that's what I kind of was hoping for a little bit. Some like swerving in and out of trees. So where is it? It's up here, huh? Oh, this is an awkward starting place. Okay. Follow the gold rings. I got you. I think. I keep forgetting to fly near the floor as well now, because uh, that with one of the new, the new talents in 10.1 lets you get speed boosts or more vigor. Oh, we're going into the raid or the dungeon. Sorry. Oh, I've got no power. Uh oh, that could be a problem. Oh, this could be a huge problem on basic. Oh, no. This is why I like advanced. You can sort of pull them a bit better. Whereas on basic, you've like got to go with what the course wants you to do. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use that one there. A bit of an uplift. Oh, okay. Oh, I screwed that up. That was not good at all. That's still a gold. <laughs> I messed that up horribly and I still got a gold there.
I'm hoping advance goes a little bit better. Now I know the track. Almost messed it up there instantly. I missed a little green orb. for another flap upwards. Oh, I've missed that one as well. Oh, I've missed... Oh, I missed the checkpoint somehow. God damn it. That was my own fault, I think. Must have flown just a little bit too out of bounds for the, for the checkpoint ring. That's the downside of flying like a maniac like I do. Because uh, if you do the surge upwards near a ring, you are sort of risking missing it. But yeah, what I do, I tend to like flap upwards and like jolt upwards as well at the same-ish time. The timing can be a bit funky based on like what lag you have. And results may vary. But like say, the flapping upwards, I do feel gives more of a boost than just surging forward. But like areas like this where there's not a lot of uh, up movement that you can really do, then you can rely on surge forward. Why would I want a Feralus rare, please? Silver Dragon, please? Almost messed up in the exact same place there. you got to fly through the temple. That's interesting. 84 seconds. We've got 77. That's pretty good. Reverse course is going to be a little bit easier, I think, maybe. Famous last words. Very, very famous last words. We're going to start off in the temple, which is like the hard part. So we can get that out of the way. If we have a good little section there, then everything else should be fairly easy. Just depends when we get to the temple up here, because we've got a lot of... Uh, got a lot of flat ground here that we need to deal with. Go up here, go down here. Oh, get that orb. All good. This bit could be a little bit more tricky going backwards, for sure. Got a fair amount of uphill, though, when we get to like this bit. Kind of flat uphill ish. I think surging forward is probably the right call for that part. And 75. That was our best time yet, apparently. Oh! That was good. So I think Thousand Needles is next. Thousand Needles Thread. Now, this is one where we should be, like, swerving in and out, I believe. This is good fun, man. This is going by so quick for me. So I think, how many is this? One, two, three, four, we're going to our fifth. Sixth, seventh, eighth. If we like do, to finish off with like, Dorotar and Southern Barons, then we can do Stone Talon, Desolus, Ashen Veil, vale, Mount Hygel, and these ones next time, I think.
Sounds like a plan. It's here. I'd like to try the course. I think we'll s flap upwards to start this one. Or maybe not the strongest start for that, actually. Okay. Oh, wow. This is odd. There's a lot of wind everywhere. I'm assuming the whirlpools are, in fact, hazards on the course. That's actually really cool. And I'm sure I'll be cursing them when I get to the advanced core. Okay, that's a bit, a bit of a tricky turn there. Makes you think on your feet. Now we're swirling back round. It's like a big sort of figure 80 over and over again kind of thing. The try the advanced one. I'm going to try a forward surge this time. I think that might be the better way to start this. Get two surges out of the way there. Oh, we have got to stay low to collect these green orbs, though. That's interesting. There are definitely not as many upward surges on this track, I think. We are picking up a lot of orbs, though. I think we can uh, spend them a bit more. Did I get gold on the basic course? I didn't even check properly. Is this where the awkward corner's coming up? It is. Okay, it's good. It's good. No, I didn't get gold that time. Ooh. That's interesting. It was just short. I have lived to see them return. Mmm. Got three badges last time. I got gold on the basic then, that's fine. So we can do it again. It's just a smaller time frame that we've got. I think we'll go with no upward surges. Thing that usually gets people with advanced courses, I think a lot of people like bank their uh, speed power ups more than they should do and that's why people usually can't get the advanced times whereas I do think you, you need to bank them especially for like higher climbs and stuff but I don't think you should be banking a million of them and I think I did bank a few too many last time whereas I'm sort of Skirting the realms of what I should be here. 
There we go. That's a gold. Two seconds knocked off almost. One and a half. Alright, now we'll try the reverse one. This could be a little bit fun. I don't want to touch that whirlpool because I'm not sure if that's a course hazard or not still. Okay, spend a few more because we're picking quite a lot up. Now, I think hovering around two or three banked is often a good idea. I'll crash into that mountain there. We can probably still get gold. That is a, an even harder corner, I think, on reverse. I've never found... I forget what the... Uh, is it rolling surge? I've never found that to be particularly quick in the long run. And it uses three of your... Uh, charges. But you notice that I rarely ever use that spell. The only time I think I use it is for the world quest where you got to knock things out of the sky. That's like the only time. Is that going to be a gold? We got three badges. Ooh, just about. Nice. Raise a fen roundabout. This could be a little bit awkward. Where is it up here? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Try the course. Oh boy, is it taking us through the actual Razor Fen area? Interesting. This might be a little bit tricky. This is kind of what I was expecting. A lot of trees and everything to avoid. Oh, no, 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 bueno. I will do a run through so we learn the track. I don't expect to get gold on this now. Oh, really? I hit the single pixel on the thorn. Oof. Okay, let's try this again. This could be a very tricky one. Da -na 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 -na. I like that part. I like that part a lot. Very low on vigor. Okay, so we go around the edges, we go back through here, not hitting the, okay. Apparently hitting the floor. Bit of a tight squeeze, that. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff here. There's no way I'm going to do that. Ooh. This might be the hardest one. This is the hardest one so far for me. I never gave up hope. I don't think it helps with it being dark. That and I've got lights shining bright in my face. <clears throat> 
for uh, the camera lighting, obviously. Not that I'm making excuses. I mean, I'm still flying bad regardless. But there are a lot of uh, sort of dark things that you can crash into, and I can't really see dark colors that well when I've got lights in my eyes. So we're going through here. Bit of a tight fit. I don't want to over boost. Got something down here. That's pretty good. Oh, that's like right at the end. Ooh. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. No, 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 no. Damn it. Thank you. It's a shorter course. I think it needed to be short, though, just based on uh, how tricky it actually is. It is very technically challenging, and I do like it. I just, I think I'm going to struggle with the uh, gold on advanced here. Potentially. Oh no, we got it. That's not bad. Three seconds under. <laughs> The reverse course is going to be very fun. Wah, wah. Starting off slow, that is often fine. Don't think that's necessarily a problem. You can get a flat. One of them, get one of them. Down again. Through here. And we got gold again. Very tricky. Very, very tricky, but not ridiculously difficult. I think that just took a bit of getting used to. Okay. My lights turned off for some reason. Okay, it's back on. I don't know, man. So the next one is going to be Dorota. Then we'll finish off with Southern Baron's, Baron's Great Divide. Oh, is it gonna? It's gonna be like Northern slash Southern Baron's, maybe. God, you can really appreciate the view distance now, can't you? This is very nice. And they've only done this with Eastern Kingdoms and Cal Kalimdor. And I don't know if that's screaming that some of the world will revamp. Maybe we'll go to an extra island as well on top. That might just be a bit smaller in scale. But I am kind of hoping for a little bit of a world revamp. And changing things like this. They did the skybox in, in Shadowlands, did they? Or was that early Dragonflight? They did the skybox with the... You can't see them currently, but the moon. The two moons got retextured. The view distance has been sort of reworked. It's making me think that we might be returning... To sort of old lands in the near future. 
hell if not even in like 10.2 if 10.2 is emerald dream you know what would be fun 10.2 world bosses bring back the uh the the dream dragons again why not make everyone miserable doing those They got corrupted by the nightmare. We killed them in the main world. We've killed them in the dream. Bring them back. Make them like uh, shadow flame versions of themselves now. Resurrect them with shadow flame. They did it to Anixia. Let's take on the uh, shadow flamed versions of uh, of the green dragons. The oh, I forget what they're called. Like Isandra and all that lot. Emerus. The Rotar Tor. Okay, we flap up here. Oh, we're going through the uh, the little starter zone. Oh, I hope we get one in Elwyn that sort of takes us around North Shire Abbey. I've crashed into that tree. I'm not really sure. I mean, it'd probably have to include a lot of Elwyn as well, because I'm not really sure how much you can squeeze out of North Shire Abbey. There's a couple of trees, but not really much going on to uh, warrant a dragon riding race around that area. You could do the... Oh, I've gone the wrong way there. You could do the... Oh, gosh, what's it called? I forget what quest it was for, but there's a little just above North Shire Abbey, in between North Shire Abbey and like Stormwind, there's like a house on its own, and I feel like it had a gnome there for one of the quests. Might have been like the the rogue legendary dagger quest or something. Oh, I've gone the wrong way again. Okay, we can recover this. We can recover this. Oh, it's taking us around the Echo Isles as well. Yo, sick. I've not leveled trolls enough. But I feel like when they first did the Echo Isles, I sort of trapped myself to trying out the starting zone. And I remember really enjoying it. Oh, there are a lot of trees here that you can get stuck on. And it seems like a pretty long track as well. Taking us around the Colterus building. The regard keep. That's not a gold. That is a gold. Damn, dude. Aspects grace. I feel like I shouldn't have got that. Okay, maybe we can focus a bit more on this one now. We'll flap upwards for that. Surge forward for a couple in here. Flap upwards there. That's a bit better. It's not actually that bad when you know what you're doing. These trees are going to be my next concerning part of this, or that brickwork that I just crashed into. Surge forwards, flap upwards. Do another surge, we'll do a flap. <laughs> There's so many little trees, you can like clip yourself on the... I think I got very lucky with not doing that. Five seconds under gold time. That's pretty good. We serve once more. And we'll do the reverse. Let's 
Start with the surge forward down. Go round and round. Keep surging forward. I feel like Echo Isles might be a, a bit of a problem here. It's nicer going into the Echo Isles that way because you can sort of see that little group of trees coming. I almost still like nearly biffed it, but. Seems a little bit easier to deal with. I feel like this bit might be the killer on, on reverse. Maybe not. What? No, it was going so well. I'm like right there. There's no way, man. No way. Okay, let's not biff it. You can see the trees coming, you can see the trees coming. Kinda. Oh, not those ones though. Oh, I biffed it. <laughs> I'm in my head, I'm in my head, shake it off. Try not to biff it. I'm going to take the long way around because we can. That feels safer. And the Echo Isles part seems pretty okay. Oh, I'm going a bit off course here. a little bit there. That's still gold. That's still gold. But yeah, this should be our eighth set of races. And it will, it will take us up to um, roughly about an hour, which is good. Not necessarily a fan of it uh, PvPing me. I feel like that's a little bit of an oversight. Great divide that is there. Is that a waypoint? yards away. Really good. Keep going this way then. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, flown over it. Getting very dark here. I think it might be better to do this at As daytime. We'll try this course though. I think this is one of the ones that was sort of advertised. I remember seeing clips of people flying through the gorge here. Oh, this one's actually got like super hazards. Even on the basic course as well, that's interesting. I don't think the hazards were uh, here on the basic versions. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just lying to you for no good reason. Oh, my light's gone off again. Interesting. <laughs> Don't know why that keeps happening. It's back on again. Okay, weird. That's a very, 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 very quick course. We got gold on it fairly easy. Short on vigor. Okay. I'll ease off a little bit. I think we should be good now. Only got a few more checkpoints to go. Yeah. Nice. Nice and easy. 39 seconds. 0.994. I never gave up hope. Little short 30 second stint. I like that in my course. I'm going to flap upwards here. Get a bit more speed out of us. Now we're picking up Vigor charges. We can sort of surge forward a bit. I don't want to flap upwards here. I think it'd be a bit too dangerous. Oh, I completely whiff that. Okay, take two, two forward surges, we'll flap upwards here to get speed. And we'll keep forward surging for the time being here. Every time I get past these, like, fireball things, it always reminds me of the slimes in Naxxramas after patchwork. Is that a gold? That's a gold. 38.721. Nice and easy. Because the, uh, if you have a little bit of lag, you can, like, completely miss them on your end, but you go straight through them on the, uh, on the server end, and they clip you anyway. Which is unfortunate. However... That's half of the race is done. We've got we've got Stone Talon, we've got Desolus, Ashenvale, Hyjal, Nordrasil, Windspring, Ashara, and then Felwood will probably end up finishing up on, I think, maybe, or either Felwood or like Ashara, depending which way we go. But that's part one of the Kalimdor Cup races. I might, I'm going to post this as like a let's play part as always, but if you want to use it as a guide, you can. I feel like I've done a pretty good job of like going through them completely fresh faced, not having seen them before. Uh, something about dragon riding just sort of clicks with my brain and I really, really, really enjoy it. But uh, that's it for today. I appreciate you all very, I appreciate you all very much and uh, I will see you in the next one. Like, say, like, and subscribe if you want more uh, dragon flight, dragon riding guides, I guess. I'll see you tomorrow. Travel well, adventures. Bye for now. Bye, 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 bye.